Well, hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. It is so good to see you again. I hope you had a great and wonderful day on today. Well, you know what time it is. The word for today. And the word is your love for him. See, in 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 14 says, For the love of Christ constraineth us, because we thus judge, that if one died for all, then we're all dead. The love Paul had for the Lord was the drive behind his overwhelming passion to preach, defend, and stand on the truth of the gospel. Read Galatians chapter 2, verse 11 through 13, and you see how he defended the truth to Peter. He said, Now when Peter had came to Antioch, I withstood him to his face, because he was to be blamed. For before certain men came from James, he would eat with the Gentiles. But when they came, he withdrew and separated himself, fearing those who were of the circumcision. And the rest of the Jews also played the hypocrite with him. Even Barnabas was carried away with their hypocrisy. See, in the 20th verse, he said, I have been crucified with Christ. It is no longer I who live, but Christ lives in me. And the life which I now live in the flesh, I live by faith in the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. What an awesome conviction. It was about his love for the Lord. Christ's love for us, which was demonstrated in his vicarious death, must elicit from us such love as Paul had mentioned and as John says in 1 John 4, 19. We love him because he first loved us. How much do you love him? It is important that every so often you open up your heart to him in prayer and tell him just like this, Lord Jesus, I love you with all my heart, all my soul on today and forever. This is what I want to do for you is loving on you and doing your word. Your love for Jesus Christ means more to God than anything you could ever give to him. Don't you know that? So love him with all your heart and prove it in keeping his word. Well, I hope this encourages you all to continue to love on God with all your heart and all your soul because he first loved you. Continue to defend and stand on the truth of Jesus Christ because remember, your love for Jesus means more to God than anything you could ever give to him. Well, until next time, you all have a great evening, everyone, and please be blessed on this weekend.